Hi, I'm Kevin, and today I'm going to show you how to scan long documents such as this. Uh, we can scan them on our little ultra portable scanners, but today I've already got the DS790 set up, so I'm going to do it on that. So I've loaded up the um, document into the scanner. We're just opening up uh, Document Capture Pro, but I'm going to take you through how I created them and the settings that are in the background. So here are a lot of the buttons that I've done. This is the job that is pre-created, the long doc scan so I'm just going to go into settings and edit and then we can have a look at what that scan button is made up of so I can call it something different if I want to um, this time I'm going to use a single sided automatic document feeder in the scanner because I'm only going to be scanning one side because I'm going to be scanning a really long piece of paper the default uh, paper sizes aren't loaded so I'm going to have to open up the part of the scan driver which is a little application called Epson Scan 2 and in there um, I can have a look at um, some of the additional settings uh, I can go in and, and change some of the uh, the extras if I want to but I want to leave this at uh, auto detect long paper this would also work for uh, delicate media as well um, I want to save this in color I also uh, want to auto rotate because it's going to be a very long document and I want it um, to be a landscape. Um, I'm also going to leave it at 300 dpi. I'm going to take off skip blank uh, page uh, because it was gonna, only going to be one side. I could rename the document if I want to, otherwise I'm going to leave it with timestamp and page counter on. And I could choose to open up um, other applications. I'm just going to say yeah will open the folder. Now you notice I haven't set a, uh, a paper length so now I'm just going to click the button, uh, send the scan job to the scanner and the very long meter and a half plus something like that document is going to feed through the scanner. Uh, what you'll notice is that the scanning is not at the 45 page per minute which the DS790WN uh, normally runs at. Because I've set this into long document mode the scanner itself has been slowed down but it's not slowed it down by uh, increasing the file size. It simply slowed the scan down at 300 dpi. Here's the one that I've, uh, uh, I've just saved and if you look at it that's a very very long um, PDF document. I can zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and again at 300 dpi you can see that there's plenty of detail in there you can see all the little squares of this ECG in the background and all the the names etc um, so let's just zoom back out and you can see what I mean by uh, the file size when we have a look here and it is less than two megabytes in file size that's how easy it is to scan long documents